Good. We're going to call this meeting to order. 5.30 p.m. legislative on April the 8th. Commissioner Teacher, would you mind saying the invocation? Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you so much. Lord, I, um, I know in a, a, a room and a county and a country that, that has a lot of differing opinions on things, Lord. I pray that I pray that citizens are represented. I pray that there's authenticity in, in each of the ones who are voting, including myself. Lord, I pray that you'll please convict us and prick us in our hearts, Lord, to do the right thing by the people. And Lord, I pray that the people will always have more power than the government in the United States. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, before we approve this, meeting, I was going to recommend taking item C under new business and moving it um, under old business for May. The Education Committee didn't do anything with that resolution this month. Uh, and I know the General Assembly is taking up that item, so without any any opposition, um, before we adopt the agenda, we'll just move item 9C to old business. Any objections to that? No objections. Uh, any other changes or additions to the agenda for you? Motion approved. Motion approved by Commissioner Second. Rogers. Second by Commissioner Schoff. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries. Approval for a minute. You got a motion? Second. Second. Second by Commissioner Rogers. Second by Commissioner Tishner. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Recognition of the public. There is none. All right. Report of the chairman. I have none. Report of the county mayor. No report, Mr. Chairman. All right. All right. Old business. Eight <laughs> A. Uh, is the discussion uh, for clarifying ownership, routine maintenance, support services, and funding for the Hendersonville Library. Uh, I guess we're going to get an update for the law director on where we were with that. Yeah, if I may, Mr. Chairman, uh, we, like the wheels of government, uh, are in the process of kicking around. Uh, we made our final offer, which is we take ownership, take responsibility of uh, upkeep, maintenance, care of the facility, but we could not uh, uh, take on the extra day of operating and that that would be something if they chose to do that in the future would need to go through a budgeting process. And I, I was told that it's gonna be sent to their proper committee and then I would receive an answer after that. I've received no answer to date. Motion to defer. We'll just, we only have, we'll just yeah, keep it at old business. That's fine. We'll I did note, I'll, I'll just make a one comment <coughs> on this. Um, I noticed on our budget agenda tonight is the $16,000 to fix an emergency repair for the backflow at the Hendersonville Library that the county mayor got taken care of. And so I don't know if that's something that I'll bring it up in our that we are going to send them. Since this is kind of a legal legislative issue, you send them an invoice for half of that, or how does that work um, for that repair? Or is that something that's routine maintenance that they cover? I mean, because we covered, I think, the whole thing. Or? At this point in time, I believe the mayor is paying everything with the dust to settle upon resolution on this, uh, on, on the library. A at the current time, it's my position that we're 50-50 on this. But I think at the moment we're kiting the bill till we've made a resolution. Yeah. Just okay. so the operation of the library doesn't cease. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You know, we don't, we just stress that's last August, you know, let's fix it. And, you know, Make yes. sure the patrons aren't left in a lurch. So, okay. I think what Mr. Mansfield was going to say is that he's going to use budget to make a point. <laughs> well, I might not need to say a point in budget <laughs> uh, because I mean, it kind of it's kind of a legal question I'm here since we're dealing kidding. with this. That's so. uh, like the first joke I've told in the morning. <laughs> Sorry. Um, well, I don't have to say anything budget now, so maybe we there can. You go. I don't be as the uh, discussion with the County Parks and Recreation Board. I know we have let that, uh, I know the Chairman Hyde brought that forward and he kind of uh, abandoned that previously, but I, I thought it was a good idea, but I have not, I don't, I don't have anything to add to this right now. We're not ready to move forward personally. I, have, I would like to keep it in the old business for another month if we could, if there's no objection. No, no objection. All right, we'll just, no, no motion there. We'll keep under old business. All right, new business item A, Veteran Service Report and Presentation. Good evening. Um, we have a few different things highlighted in the sheet there. Uh, one of the ones I want to point out is the example of a Castellian Springs family where they were working with a lawyer for VA benefits and kind of gave up on it because they weren't being very successful. The veteran passed away, spouse came to us, we were able to get her some benefits through the VA. It's just kind of an example where we kind of dig and find the errors that are made, and sometimes we're doing it better than the lawyers. Not nice to the two gentlemen <coughs> at the table. Um, also, 
important thing to note is that the, the VA, as part of the PACT Act, was required to expand health care coverage to a significant population of veterans, potentially anybody who was exposed to toxins during the course of their military service. Um, the VA made quite a bit of noise about this, and you see in the fifth item, we found an 88-year-old veteran who was in Europe during, uh, I think, after, during the Cold War, and we found that he'd been exposed to some toxins in the nature of his work as a mechanic, and he wouldn't have qualified due to, due to income and some other things, but we think we're going to be able to get him into health care under this new provision of the PACT Act, so we're already kind of taking action on that. Uh, last thing for month of April, looking ahead, we are we're invited. I guess the Reese of America, or Reese Across America Radio, Reese Across America is a charity that has gained a lot of attention because they put a wreath on every veteran's grave in America, and they partner with a lot of local organizations. But we reached out to them, and they have they don't have a regular veteran service officer segment. They started with a group in in Massachusetts, and they fell out. A group in Ohio. But they're going to start working with Summer County. We're going to have a monthly <coughs> slot in Reach Across America Radio where we're talking about uh, common misconceptions about VA claims benefits. And our first segment, our first segment is called "So Your Butt Pain Is Service Connected," or "So You Think Your Butt Pain Is Service Connected." It's a little bit of a humorous take on some common misperceptions <coughs> of veterans that everything that's wrong is related to the military and how we kind of step through some of those things. So, I urge you all to tune in. It should be pretty entertaining. Awesome. Any questions? All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. it. Yeah. All right. Item B is. Um, hey, before, before we move past that, can I say one thing? Yeah. I uh, I just got uh, my VA benefit. I got to I got transferred to Gallatin Clinic, and I know he he walked out, but they were they were fantastic. I mean, I could I can't say enough of how. Well, they treated me, and I, I've, I've been going to Murfreesboro, and I, you know, and it just Small was, chemical exposure. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> glue. <laughs> yes. the, the glue. That's what you said. For the citizens who didn't hear, uh, no, uh, uh, no, I gave that up in kindergarten. I gave that up in kindergarten. Um, but anyway, uh, the thing is, is, is uh, it was it really was a, a great experience. They got me in and out. Their blood work, and it was just, I just, I just love seeing that in our community, you know, like, even though it's such a federal giant uh, organization, it still was very, very uh, small and, and hometown feeling uh, when I walked into it. So I just, I just wanted to kind of give them some kudos, you know, so. Awesome, yes. <coughs> gotta, gotta help, help you out, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Had a clean bill of health. That's right. All right, item B, uh, resolution directing the trustees of the William and Martha Brown Technology Trust to transfer funds to Sumner County for the purposes of establishing the William and Martha Brown Park. Um, have a motion. Motion is discussed. Second. Motion by Commissioner Klein, second by Commissioner Brown. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, Commissioner Klein. I, I don't know what can be done about this. The, the initial uproar was that we need to do what Mr. Brown wanted in his will. And that's not what seems to be happening. It seems to be the design is almost done on the park. I don't know who's paying for it. I don't know who appropriated for it. Uh, the, the will clearly states that the house as the jewel of the park was supposed to be in control of the county commission. You know, in trying to carry out the will of the Browns, Sounds like it feels like we're in this crossfire, and I don't, I don't know what to do about it. We, we tried to get the half a million dollars that was voted down at the county commission meeting, sent back to us here, and I, I, I guess I'm looking for guidance from our legal team. What do we do about this? We've got a will that states such and, and so, and then we've got the overseers of the will who want to do something totally different. I'll tell you what I'm not in favor of. I'm not in, in favor of going against the will and somehow splitting this property like we did the Hendersonville Library. It just seems like a mess that will be starting. So uh, I, I'm looking, Mr. Chairman, for guidance from our legal counsel. I don't know what to do. This is out of my... I mean, the, 
I'll, I'll restate the best that I can, maybe correct me, but it, I mean, to me, it's pretty simple. It's you can't get to B unless you do A, and right now we've not done A, so we're not in compliance with the will. So that's all this is is just coming into compliance with his wishes. I mean, it's really that simple. Okay, so and that, in my opinion, is this is the right thing to do is to do what the will said. I mean, we have a lot of people talking all the time. They think that shady business is going on, but then when shady business is going on, they don't want to correct it. I don't quite understand the the, the logic there, but. It, it is what it is. Here's the will, and is what it says. We're trying to we're trying to actually do the the spirit of the will, and it doesn't even feel controversial at all. It's not. It's pretty. It's simple. like it, it feels controversial to go against what the gentleman wished, but I don't know. Anyway, motion to approve. Oh. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All right. Motion to any second. Any other discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries unanimously. All right, we can move, remove, see to old business. Um, motion group and approve under 10. Got a second? I have a second. Second by Commissioner Rogers. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries unanimously. Uh, items 11, <coughs> A, B, C, and D are all. Um, Just one, motion to adjourn. One thing. So, yeah, hold on. What happened oh, with C? One thing about A. <laughs> Uh, it says here the items defer for 60 days at the applicant's request of the January 2nd, 2024, Sumner County Board of County Commissioners meeting. It should read item was deferred for 30 days or one month at the applicant's request at the March 2024, Sumner County Board of County Commissioners meeting. The, at the very bottom, it says that yes. the, the last item was deferred for 30 days? It's just deferred for one month or I think it was 30 days. Was it 30 days? So we, um, Correct that for the uh, record. I don't know if that's something that you guys correct. Or, uh, It'll be correct when it comes out for the uh, full. Okay, well, never mind. Um, we'll, we'll just note that um, for 30, 30 days. Um, this is the one that was deferred. They requested to be pulled off in January, and then they requested again in March for it to be pulled off for yes, 30 days. That's correct. Uh, so this is the second time it's been pulled off. Um, How long can that go on? Yeah. That's, that's, it's already got a negative recommendation once. Now here we are. Well, it, they pulled it because of negative recommendation, and then citizens, I, I don't know why they pulled it in January, and then they pulled it again in March, and citizens actually showed, to, showed up to speak, so obviously I wanted, we wanted to allow them to speak towards that item because it would be fair to them sure. to have that. But it's kind of like, seems to me, it's just wearing them down mm -hmm. a little bit. So that's what I'm asking, though. How long can the petitioner keep pulling? Um, I, I think it definitely, but I mean, it's up to us whether we, I mean, we could have just voted on it that night. We could have not honored it. I mean, we can just go ahead and vote it up or down. But I mean, it is coming to the full commission in April. And it's been, I asked um, the planning director, it didn't seem fair that they're pulling it and then not giving enough time to go back to planning. Honestly, in my opinion, it should go back to planning or just be voted down. That's just my opinion because of if something has changed and it hasn't gone back to the planning department to review those changes, I don't understand why it's coming to the full commission. But has anything changed? No. Um, my understanding things they, they deferred it. It should make changes to so, address the citizens' needs. So I'm going to move change over. to send this back to planning. So if there's been changes, it needs to go to planning. So move sent. The only disclaimer I'll give to that, I just want to, on behalf of Josh, is that the notice has already been put out <coughs> on paper, et cetera, et cetera. And I can't help that, but I'm and I kind of told him that, but just. It's already been noticed in the paper, public hearing, Monday well, I mean, if, commission. If, but it's, if it makes it better, I can, I, you know, I'm, I'm I'll just, make the motion on from the floor to send it back to that way. I, let's just, you know what, I'll remove mine. I'll make that motion from the floor. I just that wanted to throw that out there just in all fairness because the citizens will be showing up Monday night for this again. Yeah, um, that's fine. So I, I, I withdraw that. I'm going to make that same motion from the floor. Okay, I, I agree. It's just kind of a weird. I tried to catch him in, after the meeting yeah. and he'd already you know, Literally, it got noticed the next day by like 9 or 10 a.m. after a full commission meeting. And so I didn't have, it, and I reached out to the planning department. It's like, what can we do about that? So um, I just want to be sensitive to citizens who are going to show up. I do. All right. Any other comments on these? I think Commissioner Shove had one. He had a motion to adjourn. I had a motion Second. to adjourn. Second. 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 Second.